Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. Is that who sings that? Is that um? It's not Wyclef. Um. Hey yo. Yeah, it's, I don't know. Wyclef used to maybe Wyclef sings a song with that group. Anywho, you guys got lucky. I was just finishing up my personals, and I had three left to go today, and I finally finished the last one. Um, and then I went to go put my deck away, and I got pulled <coughs> to this deck. So this is going to be a weekend read, okay? It's But it's going to be brief, all right? So May... <coughs> Today, 15th through 18th, let's just say. Let's take us into Monday. Let's take us into Monday. Monday, Monday. Alright, so, next next few days, yo. Weekend Energy Collective. Every element. I'm going to call in Earth, Wind, Fire, Air, and the Ethers. Something with cherries. Okay, nine of cups. Nine of cups, nine of cups, nine of cups. There's something with cherries, though. Cherries. I don't know what that's for Gavin. So you got the nine of cups. You know, card of fulfillment, wishes, desires. Could be drinking. It's funny, because I saw cherries, and this is watermelon. Maybe it has to do with fruit. I don't know. Okay. So you got the Ace of Wands. A new idea. You could be dealing with a Leo too, but um, something creative. Something inspiring. Or just happy. It's, it's fresh energy though. Okay. And then you got the Two of Swords. You're not going to know what to do. You're like, fresh? I don't know fresh. <laughs> so you got some fresh energy coming, and it's it's kind of throwing you off a little bit. We do have the King of Fire at the bottom of the deck. But, uh... So it's, it's going to throw you off. Whatever this energy is, but it's it's nice energy. It's refreshing, but I don't you I don't I don't know how you're gonna take it. And and refreshing watermelon's refreshing, right? A cherry is refreshing. It, so it's a refreshing weekend. So be thankful for that. Let's not worry about this. Okay, so. Ten of, ten of wands, it's, you know, it's, it's a lot of pressure. But it, I actually did put it down reversed, so you could actually be putting the weight down and, and the pressure's the pressure's believing itself. And, and the thing is, it pulled me back to a cherry. Cherries do have pits. It does have a seed, right? So it's like it might be time to start to nurture a, a, a seed, Water it, nurture it. So it looks like you're laying the weight down because it was reversed, and when the wands are reversed, it, it you're laying the weight down. You could be dealing with somebody who's got light eyes or blue eyes, or it could be somebody brand new, mystery, a mystery man or a mystery woman. I don't know why I felt that energy. Because you're going to be happy. It's a shift. Others of you, it's like, this could be like, you're finally putting the weight down of something that you've been carrying. Person plays a thing. 
It's the refreshing energy. This is a seed. This is about a manifestation. It's it's a given because a cherry's got a seed. I I know it is. It's it's refreshing. Watermelon's refreshing. Cherry is a, it's a fruit. It, I'm I'm telling you, that's that's wonderful. Some of you, this might be a mystery woman or a man. No, I'm not really sure what that's regarding, but. So, why don't you tell me about this Nine of Cups? It's going to be short and sweet. <laughs> short and sweet, y'all. Nine of Cups, Nine of Cups. Tell me about this cherry. Tell me about this cherry. Sweet cherry pie. All right. So, you could be dealing with the Libra. You got the Queen of Swords here. You know, she is a compassionate queen. But she also knows how to cut things out. All right. So I feel like this could actually be your current energy. And, you know, again, she got freaking blue eyes. What's with this blue eyes in all these photos right this second? This is a mystery. Normally, it would be not wanting to make a decision, but this I'm not reading it like that. Because you're going to lay the weight down. But you're using your brain versus your soul. Uh, whatever this is, it's already, it, it's, it needs to be nurtured. She doesn't nurture, okay? I'm not really concerned, but... Again, the same king underneath the deck. So Aries energy, someone taking the lead, maybe someone you know or someone new. To me, you're definitely going to make a decision. You, you have no choice but to open your eyes and make a decision, lay the weight down. It's either someone you know or somebody brand new. But it's happy. It's... It's refreshing energy. Let's not forget it's refreshing energy. All right, tell me about the Ace of Wands. Sweet cherry pie. Is that Aerosmith, Guns N' Roses? Sweet cherry pie. A sweet, is it cherry pie? I don't know. It's pulling me to like a, a song from one of those groups. Axl Rose. I don't know, guys. That's way too many. Ace of Wands. But it's a nice, refreshing energy shift. So, looks like the feminine has a decision to make. Oh, this is a masculine thinking about the feminine. And they have a decision to make. It's however it goes down for you. But it's refreshing. Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands. So, it's the Five of Wands, and it's the Hierophant, it's a Taurus card too. Even though it's the Five of Wands, it's the Five of Pence, sorry. And it is the Hierophant. So you got two major arcanas here. No, you got one major arcana. Um, so you could be dealing with a Taurus. I'm feeling a Leo too. I don't know what that's forgotten. Fire. Just, it's really fire I'm feeling. You might choose to not entertain it. And that's, you know, that's up to you. Or this person could have, you know, went crickets on you at some point and now their energy shifted and it's kind of throwing you for a loop. Do I lay down the weight that I've been carrying regarding this particular energy? Or do, do I nurture the seed, right? Or this is, you know, well, it's the five of pence. So I was going to say spirit being the higher font and all. But to me, I, you know, you could have been dealing with a Taurus. Or, you know, somebody who just 
left you out in the cold. Like crickets. Others of you, you find, you know, comfort in the five of pens. You find comfort in spirituality. You find comfort in things. You don't, you don't need someone to come in and shift your energy. This is an energy shift, though. So to me, it's not a person shifting your energy. It's an outcome. It's laying the weight down. And you got the five of swords at the bottom of the deck, right? So to me, it's like, how are you going to play your hand here? It is, it's, it's really on you, on how you play your hand. It's on you. This one's got green eyes. So basically, if you've been feeling lonely or missing, I don't even want to say missing an energy. It's more about you lonely, right? You're coming out of that because I said, tell me about the Ace of Wands. So you're coming out of this, okay? But whatever this happiness is, whatever this shift, it does make you think, like, do I really want it? So it must come with weight, pressure, something, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing because it's an opportunity to lay the weight down. Whether you act upon it, whether you try to work upon something, or you just let it go entirely. Because some of you will find self-comfort in the five of pence. Okay? So your energy is going to shift too. You won't stay in this for too long. But it is going to throw you a little bit off kilter. But I'm not worried about your balance. Because it's refreshing energy. It's refreshing whether you lay the weight down or you take it on, to be honest with you. Because it looks like you're laying the weight down. So you're either going to pursue or not pursue. And either way, you're content. So that's, that's nice. Tell me about the two of swords. Maybe this will tell us what the decision is. It's regarding, you know, what puts a smile on your face, though. Three of Cups, again. What puts a smile on your face? Happiness, friends, family. It could have been a third party. I don't know. I don't think it's really relevant right here. You're going to get the truth, the clarity, so you can make this decision. Some of you have a new karma contract. I really don't know what that's for. Got with three of pens being at the bottom of the deck. Could that have been a third party? I don't know. Again, not relevant. Because it, it would, you know, not relevant. You're making a decision. To continue to carry the weight or accept refreshing energy, you know, could, you know, I, I'm just going to leave it at that. Tell me about this ton of weight, ton of wands, ton of weight. Tell me about this ton of weight you got over here. But to me, you're releasing it, right? So you're going from like questionable energy, indecisive energy, stalemate, making a decision. How do I make the decision? Not really knowing if you need to make a decision, yada, yada, to contentment. Whether it's with somebody or with friends, with family. It looks nice. That three of pens really wanted to make an appearance. Okay. So, again, I don't know if there was a third party or not. But, to me, it's a new contract. It's compromise. And you got the sun at the bottom of the deck. But here's the thing. It, you know, it comes with the nine of wands. It. So it, it's still heavy. It's don't give up. You know, don't give up energy. So you could be dealing with a Leo too. I really felt the Leo there. You got strong Leo Taurus and Libra energy on the board, but I got Libra justice at the bottom of the deck. Maybe someone needs to apologize or you catch feelings for somebody. But then look at now you got a Pisces. Okay. So regardless of the situation, um, there's this clarity. There's, there's contentment whether you choose to 
pursue or let go, whatever this is regarding. Because some of you, I'm telling you, you're content. You're, you're content in solitude. You're content with your own scenario. You're content moving forward. You're, you're content. So some of you already laid this weight down. And now you're really going to feel refreshed because you did lay the weight down. And others of you are going to decide over the weekend to lay the weight down. Or to pick it, pick it up, continue to carry it. I, I don't see it that way, but... got to be smart making this decision too. It's universal energy. You got two threes, two nines. All right, let's let's just get best advice. Best advice. Looks to me it's refreshing you laying the weight down with or without with or without you got a, a good outcome no matter what you choose. You know what I mean, jelly beans? So what popped out was the Prince of Pence and the Hermit, but it's the Nine of Wands. So being very secure, very confident in your decision. So it looks like you're going to take an opportunity. It looks like an opportunity is going to be given or presented. You could be dealing with a Virgo. But your best advice is, you know, remain confident. You could be dealing... This is money. This is pence, too. You could, this could have to do with work for some of you for some reason. But it is, it's almost... It's, it's also the hermit. I mean, you know, self-reflection. Going within. Doing the work. Knowing what your soul wants. It's actually... It's beautiful energy. So, there's a new start with your energy. There's a new start. It's going to make your soul content. It doesn't have to be with a person or have to do with a place. It is just refreshing energy for you. So, freaking, I want to be like, rock on. I don't even use that expression, you know? So, absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Have a fantastic weekend. Bye, guys.